Bond, MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew, Raphael Drake's chief of Asian operations. Mayhew fears that Drake intends to kill him, holding him responsible for their little setback in Austria. In exchange for our protection, Mayhew will deliver evidence exposing Drake's master plan, codenamed Nightfire, a scheme that Mayhew insists threatens global security. The name's Bond. James Bond. Mayhew's son is expecting you. Mayhew has one demand, to be brought in by James Bond himself. Our informant awaits you at his Japanese estate. Good luck, 007. Mr. Bond, at last. This is Kiko Hayashi, my bodyguard. I assure you, she's quite skilled. No doubt. The Nightfire data make you. We weren't expecting other guests. Please, stay with Alex. It's Drake. Quick, we must get to the security bunker. Hey guys, this is Scarecrow Slayer, and I am bringing you... Mission 4 through of 007 Nightfire. Oh, this one's called Double Cross. And I didn't expect them to attack me so soon. This is the last level that I've actually played in advance because I recorded them and I didn't like how they turned out, so I decided I would redo them. Um, which I know isn't really I'm fair because the whole point of my way. Let's Play was going to be how someone can go from being really good to not so good uh, so quickly. And uh, what sorts of stuff could be remembered after such a long time. But I don't remember how to cycle these. I know there's a way, maybe there's not a way to cycle that one. But I know there's a way to cycle through cameras, like if you find a security camera. Um, so yeah, this mission is all about escorting this guy and protecting people. Uh, and since I've played it in advance once, uh, I can uh, be pretty decent at it. Played a hand on this thing. Okay, um, there's... This game, a lot of the guns are all about select fire. And this shotgun in particular has a pump function, which works just like a pump action shotgun. And then it also has an auto function. Um, there's... I think in pump it does slightly more damage, but... At least on medium difficulty, they pretty much all die in one hit anyway. There's really no reason to not use pump. I mean, not use auto. Uh, this pistol's awesome too. The select fire for this is uh, laser, which uh, I think makes it shoot slightly slower, but it also makes it more accurate. So it kind of balances. I don't really understand why anyone would use it. Um, I don't really now. use it because it's not really functional. Um, but yeah, that's the first part of this little little section of this mission. What you're looking for is locked in my bedroom safe. This is the key. Just feed it to the dragon. The dragon? Right. Keep your head down. I'll be back for you. Also, could you wipe the hard drive on my computer? I don't want to leave a data trail for Drake to follow. That's awfully needy. And please protect my servants. They're like family to me. Okay. Right there is armor. Back here is some rounds. Now there's two ways you can go. You can go up this ladder. Or you can go the way that I always went. And uh, go through here. Just press A to open those grades. Now, in this part of the mission, you're supposed to be sneaky. There's a guy right here, so you gotta be careful when you do it this way. Silenced headshots 
won't alert other people unless you like blatantly do it in front of enemies. So I definitely recommend going for that approach. See, like this guy was. Somewhat notified, but I got him. Okay. My running out of night vision, so I gotta let it recharge a little bit. This guy paces back and forth. Um, I'm gonna wait till he gets close and take him out right after he turns around. Uh, which is gonna be a little bit of a wait. Uh, this is the other way. If you go up the stairs instead of going through the grates like I did, you come up here. Which is nice, but then you end up in front of this guy. But if you go around the way I went, you end up behind him, which is nice. This is like a infrared, but it doesn't work <laughs> very well. Um, I mean, what do you want? This game was made in, what, like 2000? I have the case near me, and since we have to wait anyway... Uh, 2002? I mean, that's old. That's almost old if you think about it. There you go. I got him. Took more bullets than I would have liked. Um, this part is not quite clear yet. I know that there's some guys over... Yep, there's a guy right here. Uh, that was a very selfie. I think, luckily, he's the last guy in this part. Um, there's a gong up here. If you shoot it, it makes a noise. Uh, I don't really want to do it. I think, yes, you can go down into this building. Uh, you have to, like, loop around the back. And then, I don't remember what's in here. Oh, that's what's in here. The sniper rifle. Uh, which is quite a bit helpful in some other parts of the level. I don't remember if you get it, even though I just played this. I don't remember if you get it unless you get it from that spot. It's definitely helpful. Um, there's kind of two ways to do this part. You can barge through the front door, or you can go down through the water through here. This is more stealthy, and I think you get a 007 thing for doing this. Go up this ladder, open this, and they don't hear you. Now let's see if I can... I did. Two headshots. How will I repay you? If I live through this, I'll need a large socket and one hell of a massage. My headphones are... With some ...static. And I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I'm using my turtle beaches. Because it can. And it makes it a lot easier to record. This is the part I cleared. I th is there armor over here? Nope. Thought I remember there being armor over there, but clearly I was mistaken. It happens. Uh, this is the next part. These guys sometimes know I'm coming and sometimes don't. I think that guy, I think if you go out any quicker than I did... Oh, they found me. This is where that sniper rifle is going to come in very handy. Why are you making me reload? I don't even want that gun. This sniper rifle can be so easy to use. Really, there's no bullet penetration in this game practically. So I think some of these paper things you can do bullet penetration on, but the rest of it there's like no bullet penetration. So I wouldn't recommend trying to uh, switching guns in this game is not all that easy. Um, I know I usually loop around here. There. I saw him. 
There he is. I didn't even really hit him. <laughs> but I mean, it counted. I'm not going to complain. Uh, so well over here. The, the one thing I always liked about this mission was like how much they put into the map design. A lot of the other maps seem very flat, but this one it seems like they actually put some thought in. I don't know if maybe this was like the E3 map or what, but yeah, so if you shoot those off and then you jump up here and climb, even though everyone is already dead <laughs> and I'm not doing it stealthy, this still counts as being more stealthy than going through the door. Um, so when you jump down, you pick up those seven points. Over here, get some more sniper ammo. Um, so yeah, the main part of this mission. This is how you can come in if you just go through the door. The main part of this mission is I'm supposed to destroy his hard drive, which somehow means shoot the computer once, and somehow that wipes the hard drive in in this game. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Uh, this part is kind of difficult. Um, the reason it's difficult is because they have a hostage over there, but in that window, you can just barely, right there, see a fire extinguisher. There. While people are stunned, you can one-hit them. You don't have to headshot them when they're stunned. Just any one shot will kill them. Uh, I don't know whose idea that was in the game, but it makes it kind of easy. Uh, but yeah, the, the concern with this mission is if you run in guns blazing and you accidentally hit this fire extinguisher, it will explode and it will kill her. So that's why it's definitely a good idea to actually do a little bit of stealth going with a uh, stun grenade. And the stun grenades in this game don't throw very far, so be very careful. Like you saw, I did throw two because I messed up my first one. But yeah, I have to go through these doors. Okay, so this part of the mission, you have to be sort of stealthy in if you want to do it effectively. There's one guy here. Sneak up. Headshot will do. I'm not exactly sure how I missed. Okay, some armor. Okay, now this part, I have to go over to that dragon and hit A, but as soon as I do, it's going to alert two more people, and there's this guy in this room that will also be alerted, so if I take him out first, it's one less guy to fight. Um, now I go to the dragon. Pick up the key code. Now I know that there are two guys. Are they not coming this time? There they are. Oh, you don't really need to be quiet there because they're going to be alerted anyway. Um, now this part, this is in the night vision and then this is like a heat thing, but it's also used for finding hidden stuff like this hidden door. If you go over to this painting and press A, straightens the painting and unlocks the door and then you can go through here but you need to be careful because in this game you can do like a little dance to avoid bullets because the AI isn't very smart uh, the other thing that's cool about this shotgun is if you pull the trigger while it's reloading, it'll stop reloading and only do a partial reload. Which is really nice. I'll go down here and get some of the ammo I missed out on. Uh, this, uh... Oh, it's not breakable. I thought I remember that being breakable. This part is much easier with the sniper rifle. Because <laughs> if you don't have the sniper rifle, uh, it's really a pain. Um, this part, let's see, 
get out onto the roofs. Thought there were 007 there. Um, okay. You can go around that way, but the way I always go is I cut across that little piece of wood. That makes sense. Just stand there and let me aim carefully and kill you. I don't know if I should jump down there, or... I don't think I should. Yeah, because you can go over here. Get some free armor. select fire for this makes it a uh, single fire and since they take so many bullets it was never really practical to do that um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else going on in any of these rooms but I really don't think there is I think if you go the rooftop way like I did it's the most stealthy it's the quickest and you get the most points and stuff for it um, okay yeah so I gotta go over to this door and I'm done? No, no, no. This is the ending. <laughs> this was always my favorite part of the mission. Uh, it's definitely much easier to do with the shotgun. Have you seen her? She's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. That is the assassin. It's a shame they make such a cool character and then he doesn't last in the storyline all that well. No blood because this is a teen game. Shotgun and of course, cannot see you. This is like the most difficult boss. There you go. <laughs> in the whole game, and it's in one of the first missions. But, mission complete. This was the fourth mission, Double Cross. Uh, if you like what you see, please leave a like. If you want to see Kobe more 007 Nightfire Let's Play, uh, please subscribe. I also get some Call of Duty stuff, and pretty much whatever I feel like posting, I post. So, if you want a nice variety of things, uh, subscribe. I'll get more content up for you. Uh, thanks, and I'll leave you at the end of this video. A lot of good it did me. I was pinned down. Panics. I promise you, Drake will pay. Kiko, you're not safe here. Come with me. 